to drones and AI together. They can boost the production and the efficiency in agriculture. Welcome. Today we are at Leonding Winery in Nussbukut in Austria. So welcome. And I'm very excited because we are going to show how smart agriculture is applied using drones, using 5G and AI in collaboration with Huawei and with drone tech. And these new technologies made Leonding Winery a smart farm, or maybe even um, a smart precision farm to be exact. And the key part is that data collection and AI analysis, because if they have the data, they can analyze it and they can de define which actions to take. So with, with detailed crop data, farmers understand their crop much, much better. And they can take specific actions. How? They use 5G, they use drones and they use AI. And this can support the efficiency in production, and especially in this type of rural areas over here, and especially in agriculture. So the use of, of smart technology, it can support farms. It can help them with sustainable cultivation, but also with a reduction in pesticides, which we're going to show today. And smart agriculture, I think, is an important theme for the Austrian agriculture as well, to remain competitive in Europe, but maybe even on a global scale. And 5G can be a critical infrastructure to support this sustainable development in this type of rural areas. And 5G enables a new type of generation of smart agriculture and a new generation of high precision farm. So there are several challenges in agriculture in countries with high labor costs. And everybody who lives in Europe or who lives in the US understands this. Agriculture is, is labor intensive and requires a large labor force. But on the other hand, we have limited resources, limited people, um, labor is expensive. So how can we use this labor in an optimal way? There's also the pressure to work in a sustainable manner. So that means that the minimization, for example, in the use of pesticides. So how can now 5G, how can drones and how can AI help? Now, let's start by listening to a conversation with an expert we recorded before. I'm here with Ume Eski, and she's an expert in both 5G and AI. These are two key technologies for smart farming. Can you explain yeah, why they need 5G? What are the key elements of this? And especially as well, how do they apply AI in this smart farm farming project? Uh, I think that uh, the AI and the 5G technology can be very good uh, collaborators, especially in the agriculture industry, uh, because uh, we really have to uh, make a good job in the agriculture domain, we believe, as a Huawei, because we are a very customer-oriented company and we believe that we can uh, understand our farmers' pain points and problems and we can directly solve their problems uh, by offering them some customized solutions. And uh, firstly, I can say that uh, we use here the 5G because uh, we just want to transmit the high quality video uh, transmission by using the camera, high resolution and multi spectral camera on top of the drone. And uh, by using these high resolution images, uh, we tried to make some AI an, uh, analysis in order to understand, for example, detect some small insects, even the human eye cannot uh, actually visually see because we are, they are really, uh, really small. And maybe uh, sometimes the um, things cannot be uh, seen, they are invisible. And uh, by making some uh, AI algorithms uh, for them, we can actually make them visible. Uh, thanks to do some uh, algorithms. And uh, we can really in increase our production efficiency because uh, we really know uh, what the uh, specific farming fields really needs. For example, uh, we can actually measure the water level or maybe we can do some fertilizing analysis and uh, we can detect uh, what part of our smart uh, farming field uh, can actually do this fertilization we can actually uh, try to do this uh, solution in a custom, customized manner. And also we can do some uh, humidity analysis uh, or water level analysis, etc. And all of these actually brings us a really uh, high productive environment and we can really increase our production efficiency. This is actually the first advantage mm -hmm. of the AI and 5G technology. And secondly, I, I can say that, uh, of course, we are using the drones for this job uh, because uh, thanks to the drones, 
we can easily cover a very inclined or very large area in just uh, one hour, let's say. And if you do uh, this job with some traditional methods, uh, you can really uh, have a very, very long hours. And this is actually very inefficient way. And uh, other than this uh, time saving issues, uh, we are um, just uh, try to use uh, some uh, automotive technologies uh, in drone, uh, etc. And uh, maybe the people cannot actually reach the inclined uh, fields easily, but uh, we can just uh, try to uh, get the overall images of this large smart farming and also the inclined uh, fields. Uh, with the help of drones easily and we can save the labor force actually and uh, I also want to emphasize the third point uh, the final point is be uh, it is actually uh, all about the um, environmental pollution I mean um, in current technologies our farmers try to use this fertilizers or pesticides in a very uh, large farming fields without making a really feasible and uh, smart decision. Uh, but uh, thanks to these AI technologies, we can really detect uh, how many parts of our uh, fields can really need this uh, fertilizing and we can uh, actually decrease uh, the environmental pollution easily. Thank you, Umay. A great explanation of how smart farming is, is working. So what we see is that drones fly over the crop and they make all kinds of high resolution images. So these images, they are transmitted and they're analyzed in real time, and that's important. So the smart farming drone's uniqueness, what we see is the sensor technology. So this high resolution RGB sensor technology detects the overall condition of the field. It detects the gaps in planting and it can create a green leaf index. And this high resolution multispectral sensor, it helps also to create a normalized difference vegetation index, which allows the conclusions of the overall health of the plants as well. So not only the specific plants. And after analyzing this type of vegetation, the next drone goes up, it went in the air and it starts spraying exactly on the plants that are affected. And based upon this data, pesticides are only sprayed at the plants that really need it, based upon the analysis and in real time. So this is a great example of precision farming. And the good thing is they can do the check within two weeks again and see the results and act again where needed. So this solution saves a lot of labor. It basically helps labor to put in efficiently and it minimizes the environmental impact with the limitations of pesticides. So it provides farmers with a live stream from their field and an analysis of the data. And once farmers have the data from their crop, they can very precisely start executing all different kinds of actions. And what we see as well is they want more data. They want different type of data to execute and define every action based on this data. So this project, I think it's the foundation of a full service drone and analysis in agriculture. And the team, they are working on, on a full service shop as well. This full service shop, helps them by ordering basically the drones. The drones make the images, they do the analysis, and they provide the farmers with the actions, which is, I think, a great type of service and very efficient and very cost efficient as well. So if everything goes according to plan, this will take about two to three years before such a full ecosystem has been set up because there's a lot of things to, to arrange. And the smart part of this farming is the use of a 5G Huawei CP module, which allows to transmit in high resolution all the data and does it in real time. Now, let me explain a little bit more about 5G. 5G was designed on, on three key aspects. On one hand, the high bandwidth, on the low latency, but also to connect millions of devices. And I think here we focus mainly on, on the high bandwidth to transfer these high res images in real time and to analyze them in real time. And also, do you know that 5G has 30 times more capacity than 4G? Probably this is something that you knew, but it's very energy efficient as well, with only 10% of energy consumption per bit 
if you compare it with 4G. So it's much better to use 5G, especially now in the energy crisis that we have globally. And the fast data transfer speed is required as only this field generated 70 gigabytes of image data. So also there are multiple drones in operation at the same time. And in that case, low latency is important because these drones are very fast. This is just what we show over here. It's just a demo speed. It's I think three to five times faster if they are in full operation. A 5G is an infrastructure technology that unfolds benefits in combination with, with many different applications. So it can be used for growing wine, like we see over here in, in agriculture, growing asparagus, they're doing this here as well, but also delivering um, packages, for example, by drones. So it, once the infrastructure is there, many more businesses can benefit. And another part, which is very important, I think of this whole project um, is the safety. So drones, um, they need to fly safely and they need to stay under control. You can imagine if you can't see them anymore and they go, I think with speeds of 200 kilometers per hour, you still need to have them under control by the operator. And lo local governments, they see all these kind of opportunities, but they also need to be sure that the whole operation is safe and it's regulated by the local government. And especially if there's multiple drones getting into the air with package deliveries and all different kinds of activities that they are capable of. So, this regulation, I think, is an important aspect for the success of such a product. It's not only technology. And with the advance of 5G in Austria, there is a wide range of opportunities, a wide range of possibilities, which will further increase. And this project is setting a first milestone with a smart farming project. And together with the local collaborations, I think Austria is getting ready for a great future in smart precision farming. So thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time at next, next project. This is the Intelligent World. Thank you. Bye bye.